What I find special about UCHRI is the way in which we function as a sort of lab or incubator for very innovative humanities research across the system. And in this way, we really see the strength of the UC system as the foremost public university system in the world. And we provide grants that allow the 10 campuses to work with one another. And in this way, no one else is doing this work. First, I want to acknowledge the staff behind all of the programs that you see, uh, especially for those of you who may not know UCHRI. We have a staff of six full-time employees, one graduate student researcher and two undergraduate assistants who help us develop and run these programs. UCHRI has two types of programming. We have our more traditional grant-making program where we award competitive grants to uh, graduate students and faculty around the system. And the funds for this program come from the Multicampus Research Project and Initiatives grant that we receive from the Office of the President. So in addition to the grant making we do at UCHRI, we are also quite aggressive in securing external funds to support different kinds of programs. These programs go to support multi-campus collaboration, but are developed and run by UCHRI and the staff here. In the 2014 and 15 year, we had two programs operating, the Loose Funded Religions in Diaspora and Global Affairs Initiative and the Mellon Funded Humanities and Changing Conceptions of Work Initiative. So Religions in Diaspora, which I'll call RADAGA for short, is a very innovative studio model that brings together faculty at all levels, graduate students, and working media professionals into a very experimental structure in which they are co-creating um, different kinds of research programs. In addition to Radaga, we uh, went into the final year of our Mellon Funded Humanities and Changing Conceptions of Work initiative. And for this, we held a culminating conference in Berkeley. At the culminating conference, we brought together some of the faculty and graduate students who had been involved in working groups and seminars from the three-year grant period to share the fruits of their research. And we also, alongside this workshop, held a one-day graduate student professionalization workshop uh, that would support students who are thinking about pursuing careers outside or alongside the academy. This one-day professionalization workshop has blossomed into a much bigger initiative that we call Humanists at Work. So looking ahead, we see a lot of innovative programming on the horizon for UCHRI. In the grant-making side, we are in the process of developing six new calls for funding. And these funding opportunities will support junior faculty as they work on their manuscripts. It will support innovative digital humanities projects linked to current humanities projects around the system. We want to support humanities center collaboration so that the humanities centers are enabled to work with one another in a way that supports them financially um, as well as a variety of other programming. On the programming side in terms of the UCHRI led external grants we will be entering a phase of the Radaga project in which the studios come together for a culminating global symposium in which they share the research of the past two years of their grant but in a way that speaks to a variety of publics. They will be doing a variety of very innovative programming in downtown Los Angeles uh, and we look forward to seeing what happens there but they will also be traveling to Paris for an international workshop entitled The Returns of Religion. For Humanists at Work, it will be a very busy year next year. We hosted the workshop in San Diego this last year, um, collaborating with the Humanities Center at San Diego, and we saw almost 80 graduate students attend this workshop. But in the next few years, we will be holding two workshops a year around Humanists at Work, and working very hard to engage faculty and support staff around the system to better support graduate students, humanities graduate students, as they pursue a variety of careers. So from my vantage point, and based upon the faculty and graduate students we funded over the past years, I see the humanities as one of the most vibrant places at the university and across the system. We are very much looking forward to the next year and to supporting the innovative work of faculty and graduate students as they pursue new questions um, in relationship to the humanities and as they are engaged in different kinds of working structures that will produce very different results than what we've seen before.